Hi, I'm Wayne. And I'm Norma from Our Vacationer. Follow us as we travel in our motorhome in Jeep Cherokee. Subscribe and click the notification bell. We escaped the COVID-19 quarantine to head out to Coleman, Alabama to Smith Lake Park at Campground. We thought we'd bring you a review and take you along with us. Come on. Take the next left onto County Road 813. The reason we picked this campground to take you to is people, friends of ours that have camped for years keep telling us it's a good campground and we've never been there except one time back in the 80s I went down there to play a bluegrass concert in their concert arena but I really didn't at that time wasn't looking at it from a campground review standpoint so while we're driving down here it's an hour from our sticks and bricks to get to so it's real local for us. Uh, it's just off of I-65 North if you're coming out of Birmingham or, or going that way. Either way, it's exit 299 in Dodge City and it's about 15 miles off the interstate. And I can't remember how many thousands of acres it is, but it's huge. And uh, you'll see when we do the review, you've got uh, pools, basketball courts, all sorts of wide open space for kids to play frisbee or let the dogs roam and... and uh, anything that would require outdoor activities for them. It looks like a really nice campground, lots of tall trees, lots of shade. It's spaced out where you don't feel like you're just totally up in everybody's space. And uh, I think you'll really like it. And I know if you've got kids, it'll be an excellent place to go to. They've got everything roped off so you can't go in the store but you can't walk up to the door and they've got two tables in front of the, I'm sorry, the window and ask questions, check in, get information. They'll hand pamphlets or whatever you're looking for out that uh, window there. And currently as of today, they have plenty of sites open, but they're getting calls like crazy people itching to get out. This is the first day that Alabama's let everybody back outside. In the great distance, you can see a swimming pool Try to zoom in just a little bit. There's a pool, pool house, clubhouse activities building, and the lake is actually down there. We're gonna drive down and see if we can see the lake. I'm gonna go where that camper's going there to get down to the lake. All right, we're going in the boat launch area where normally this place would be packed full of boats and trucks, scarcely populated today. Down there's the beach area that she said you could get to this little dirt road, go down to the beach. We drove down to what they call the little beach area. It's not what you'd normally think of as a sandy beach by the water, but it was an area where the kids could swim and play in the water. And there were several kids down there the day we went playing and splashing and just having a good time. A couple of the little ones were fishing too. They had their little fishing poles out. And they were also, the campground was doing some cleanup there. There were some brush piles burning, but that's not the normal. It's close proximity to the campground, but there's no road access. You kind of got to go out of the campground fenced area to get to the beach. I guess this is a little bridge you can fish off of here. Here. She said this is the overflow parking area, so if you get here and they don't have any spots, they got plenty of room to dry camp and a decent view of the lake, too. Playgrounds are all roped off with police tape. It's a nice swimming pool down here. It really is. Doesn't look brand new, but it looks well maintained. Got quite a few tent campers up. Looks like a very nice tent camping area. Got mm -hmm. lots of shade trees. Yep. I don't see any water spigots or anything out there, but back years and years and years ago, I would have played music there for a bluegrass festival that they had here, probably back in the 80s. And there's the little festival. That's water and electric only there.
basketball goals. So far I'm pretty impressed. Looks very, yeah it's huge and really wide spread out. We'll go out here and film the cabin area. <laughs> can't have pets in the cabins. And you can't smoke. Camper sites 181 through 205. Not a big fan of one site backing right up to another site. Bathhouse appears to be open. made a complete circle because straight in front of us is the check-in office. There's some off in the distance that are just backed up against the fence with no shade or I'm not sure if those are like overnight sites. Or... So I'm looking at the campers. A lot of them look like they have leveling pads underneath them to drive up on. The sites must be not completely level. Some people look like they've stayed here long term. Quite a few campers here that are not occupied but are set up. That one looks like you could not put your awning out without touching the neighbor's camper. However, 114 and 116 are fairly, fairly wide spaced apart, so the sites are not evenly distributed. You see some of them are real close to each other and some of them are far apart. That Salem that looks like they're just now setting up, they're quite uphill, downhill, whichever way you want to look at it. This looks like a bathhouse here, propane, electric, yeah, that's the bathhouse restroom. It's a nice big tall trees. Is there not any of them on the lake? No. Number 74 looks like it would be a nice one. Nice big yard, nice spacious. Looks like the sewer is about four feet out of the ground though. And there's this one right here on the N62. Looks like it'd be nice. N62. There's the little chapel under the pines. And their bluegrass song about the little chapel under the pines. I'm sure there is. 
a little white church in the dale and our favorite part of the campground that we found was section m it seemed to be a newer section uh the camp sites were spaced out very well uh, they were very level very clean uh, not a lot of shade but as far as being a nicer spot, I think we liked that section the best. Yeah, as if, if you watch the video and have seen, notice the part as we're coming into the park, there's a section M there that's parallel with the fence. That was like 25 through 40, I think. And then as you go in the park, go around all the loops and, and you'll see the new M section. The new section had sites M, one through 24, and the old one next to the fence there, uh, they're all, full hookups, 50 amp full hookups. The section we liked the best, which was away from the, the, the road noise of coming in and out of the gate, was the M1 through 24. Looked like a really nice section, mm -hmm. some nice campers set up there. Quite a few boats were parked up under the shade trees there. Um, but that was our favorite section of the whole thing. The campground is huge, and we think you'll enjoy it. These must be tent sites down there. There's no way you could get a motor home done. There's the lake and the swimming pool for reference. On the other side of where we came in, this is the exit road. We came in on that road that you're seeing there. There's also a community tornado shelter, which is kind of unique. This area needs that kind of thing, but you don't see a lot of campgrounds that provide it. So we're exiting the park now. Going past the putt putt miniature golf. Thank you.